And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you the opener of a big four-game weekend set. It's the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the San Francisco Giants. Just about ready to go and towing the slab here Carlos Rodon very dominant his last time out picked up the win only allowed one run these guys would love to see him back on his game in this one so just about set now up for St. Louis Tommy Edmond leading off tonight for St. Louis the shortstop Tommy Edmund. the pitch yeah. that one's in there and we are underway At the belt and fires. And a foul ball. And the 0-2. In the air, right field. Gonzalez pulls that one down, and there's one down. That exception. The first baseman. Here's a Cardinals lineup now. One guy swinging a hot bat recently, Nolan Arenado. Well, this guy's been hitting the ball out of the park. He's really making every at bat count for something. An on base percentage just under 500 over his last 10 games. Action. Here's a 1 1. Ball two. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Strike two. Just a little too quick on that front shoulder, front hip, front foot. Everything comes open. No way of making contact with that one. Next pitch is outside. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Pitchers away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. And now it's Albert Pujols' turn to hit. Nope. First offering misses the mark. Goldie stands at first with one out. And that one is lifted in the air. Slater, he ranges to his right. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there are two down. Dives for the bag. Got him. Double play. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. No score after a half inning. The first and on the mound in this one, Adam Wainwright. He's racked up over 2,000 strikeouts in his career. He's such a competitor out in the mound. So fun to watch him work. I'm excited for this one. We go to the bottom of the first and digging in for San Francisco, Tyro Estrada. And the pitch. That one is upstairs. And here it comes. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Got away with that one, left the curveball up a little bit. He's gonna have to finish it if it's gonna be an effective pitch. Righty delivers. And he chases that one. And that's the first out. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher.
into left center for a base hit. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. And now Jack Peterson. First oh, pitch doesn't crazy. find the zone. Yeah, that's oh, outside. 2-0 that count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side or the fans better look out in the stands. 2-0. That one ripped. And it drops foul into the corner. Runner, runner, the runner. kick in the pitch. Runner goes. That one fouled off. Two and two. Left-hand batter waits. That smash towards center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Here's the Giants lineup. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Luis Gonzalez. Yeah, he's got here today. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Not many guys go up there looking for an 0-0 breaking ball, but a good way for the pitcher to get ahead in the count. He's going, Here's he's the going, pitch. Run around the goal. Strike in there. And safe. It's a stolen base. Good steal of second right there, and now the table is set for the middle of this order to drive in the first run of this ball game. I like that they're trying to manufacture some offense early on. strikes he goes and that'll do it one left for San Francisco we played an inning no score handed pitching the lefties however that's another story singing is this more common today guys really only succeeding against pitchers throwing from a specific side I think it's because you just don't get a very long trial period anymore I mean with the analytics and the numbers, teams are looking for instant success with the lineups that they construct. So if you don't figure it out quickly against certain types of pitchers, you're just not going to get those opportunities. The second baseman, Brendan Donovan. Now it's the second baseman, Brendan Donovan. Sat out last night's game, but back in there today. Aye. That one's in there, 0-1. late on that fastball Daryl Parker assigned to umpiring duty behind home plate and Boog with DP it's sort of a coin flip on those borderline corner pitches doesn't really favor one side of the plate more than the other sometimes you get a little extra the plate and sometimes you won't it does seem like he evens it out over the course of a game though bounce to the left side Toss the bill. Two up, two down. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. This is Dylan Carlson. In there, and it's 0-1 goodness I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat you don't get many like that in that location I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound liner to second it picked on the hop the throw to first third out 
Redbirds down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. The pitch. That's to third. Arenado to first. In time. And a quick out number one. That exists. The first baseman. Brandon. Bell. Up to the plate is Brandon Belt. Line drive, caught! This lineup's gonna have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in, you gotta make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Tommy Listella to the plate. That's to third. In plenty of time to first. That's out number three. Giants go down quietly. We'll move to the third with no score. And there's ball four. Bell just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Now the left fielder, Lars Newtbar. First pitch just misses. Top of the third, no score. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. Two oh. Swing and a miss. The pitch. I got three one. Three ball, one strike. Late with the swing there. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Oh, great stop. Over to first. Oh. Nicely done for the out. Batting up. The catcher, number four. Back to the top of the lineup. Tommy Edmond, the next to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. Up the middle. Oh, he gloves it. Gathers and throws. But no chance. That's an infield single. And for him, that's two solid weeks with the hit in every game. I mean, he's run his hitting streak to 14 and... Let me tell you, that's no easy task. This guy's grinding out at bats. He's figuring out ways to put the ball in play and just as well do it with some authority. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Good contact guy, good defender. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Doss, the runner at third, Edmund on at first with two down. That one hit to right. And it's gone! Home run! Paul Goldschmidt goes deep. Home run number 10 on the year. And they tack on three. It's 3-0. Three two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. Elevated fastballs, especially away, are like putting a ball on a tee. Hitters do a lot of cage work. They're comfortable hitting off the tees, and he was comfortable right there hitting that ball opposite field for a home run.
Two down, nobody on. Bart should have this one. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Goldie goes yard for the cards. It's now 3-0. The wine of the pitch. That's out to center field. And it drops in, but a good job to keep it in front. Not sure if too many people have been paying attention to it quite yet, Singy, but that extends his hit streak to 11 now. Well, I know he knows about it, even if a lot of our viewers don't. And this is when it's clear it's no fluke. 11 games in a row, man, that's when even the hitting coach starts to leave you alone. You're going so good that nobody wants to mess it up. This is Joey Bart. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, and one. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. The 0 1. That one fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. Just outside. Now 1 and 2. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The pitch. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Not too often you're going to see a sub 90 mile per hour fastball get by a hitter for the strikeout, especially when it's in a very hittable location like that. Makes me think he's either looking for something else completely or he tried to do way too much with that swing. Liner, base hit. Doss to third. Not in time. He's safe. He's been swinging it really well lately. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. So digging in, Austin Slater. And first offering is fouled off. Rudders are at the corners, one away. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And in one hops the wall. Edmund with a relay throw. He beats it safe. And they trail by one. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. To two now. And he hits a ground ball right side. Fires over to first. Two away. And up next for the Giants, Evan Longoria. He's 0 for 1. First offering misses the mark. Two outs with a runner at third. Swings and misses. And that's strike one. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Righty to the plate. This one in the air right field. Doss on his way over. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. 
But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Kicks and deals. That one drifts inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. That one to first. Knocks it down. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first out. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Brendan Donovan now at the plate. He's not the power guy, but he can hurt you to all parts of the ballpark. On the ground to short. Estrada picks it up on the run. Sends it over to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Now batting the center fielder, Dylan Carlson. Two outs, base is empty. And now the center fielder, Dylan Carlson. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. The 1 0. Now one and one. One ball, one strike. The pitch. Way inside, gets out of the way. The pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. Slater makes the catch, and that'll do it. One, two, three, go to Cardinals. But they're up three to two. Why to kick the pitch? Ground ball left side. Over to Goldie. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Goldie's well, doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Up to the plate is Brandon Belt. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, and he just misses. One down, base is empty. And there's the strike. He deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Out number two. Tommy Listella to the plate. Second baseman, Tommy Listella. Ripped on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that ends the inning. Giants are down one, two, three. They trail it three, two. Trust me when I tell you no exceptions to the rule. Bringing blessings when I move. Special Mars new ball. In there for strike one. And he deals. Strike two. Oh, and two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. Dominating strike out there on just three pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do to you. If he's hitting his spots, filling up the strike zone, sometimes he bats over before it really begins. 
Now Molina at the plate. First offering misses badly for ball one. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. In the air to left center, Slater sizing this one up, brings it in with a nice running grab. And that's the third out. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. And it remains a 3-2 ball game. Swing and a ground ball out to short. To first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Up next is John. The catcher. This is Joey Bart. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Into center. Two away down. Tyro Estrada to the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Makes a nice running catch. And that is that. Nothing doing there for San Francisco. They're down 3-2. to two. And a pitch. That's in there. That's strike one. Nobody out. Runner at first. And ball four to a board. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Here comes the manager out of the Giants dugout, and he will make a move to the pad. Carlos Rodon is done in this one. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Now a right-handed arm out of the bullpen, Johnny Brevia. He's into the game to face his former team. Well, at this point in the ball game, Renato. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills the range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Hey. That one's in there, 0-1. Oh one. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. Two on, one out. And a foul ball, he stays alive. This one high in the air to left center. And it's caught. Runner tags up for third, and he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. And up next for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. And that one is lifted in the air. Slater settles underneath it. 
Makes the grab, and that's the inning. 2 3 4 due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Cardinals three and the Giants two. The wind of the pitch. On the ground to third. Arenado to first. In time. One away. Bottom of the sixth. And Jack Peterson stands in. Out towards right center field, Carlson. Has this one sized up? He makes the grab, and there's two down. Now batting, the third baseman, Evan. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. And a foul ball. You'll one. Curveball over for a called strike. Boog, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. Next offering is foul back. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. On the ground to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. Play made. That ends the inning. Giants go down quietly, and it's still a 3-2 ball game. Next up for the Cardinals. First pitch, not close. Left hand hitter waits. Way outside. Two balls, no strikes. Popped up. Estrada drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Now batting the left fielder, Lars Newbar. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Lars Newbar. First offering misses the mark. Hammered down the right side, but foul. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. Slow roller to first. He steps on the bag. Third out, and that ends the frame. And down in order go the Cardinals. But they still lead it 3-2. And the 1 0. There's a strike. One ball, one strike. The tying run at the plate. Bounced up the middle. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. And now the first baseman, Brandon Bell. And there's a foul ball. Oh. 
Next offering is foul back. Looking to get the tying run on base. And one and two. On the ground, right side. Donovan handles the chance. Throws to first. Fine play in the hole for the out. And now it's going to be Tommy LaStella. In there, and it's on one. Left hand batter waits. Lifted in the air, right center field. Doss racing over to make the catch. Giants down in order. They trail it 3 2. Bounce it, just bounce it. Everybody, when it come, I'm announcing it. I'm always going to get it. I'm always the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Tommy Edmond at the plate for the fourth time tonight. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Counts one and oh. And now the lefty bounce to the right. Listella handles. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, this is the type of hitter you want up in this situation. Some sluggers coming up behind him. He's so good at moving runners, but also getting on base. See if he can be patient here. Two down, nobody on. Back up the middle and a base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's Albert Pujols. First pitch just misses. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Back to back singles. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. So first and second with two outs. Here's Nolan Arenado. That's a laser base hit. Here comes Goldie around third. The throws offline. He's safe. It's 4-2. That's three singles in a row. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Insurance. Or as our friends down in the south would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Pujols over at second. Arenado at first. Two out of the inning. And he grounds one to the right side. Bell steps on the bag. That ends the frame. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 4 2. Many years ago, we saw this possibility, but we didn't have a way. For him so far, Singy. He's thrown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injuring himself. Over to first. 
Up and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. And up next for San Francisco, Joey Bart. In there for strike one. The wind of the pitch. He doesn't seem to like the pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Here's the 0-2. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. He's got it, and there's two away. Now it's the Giants' leadoff hitter, Tyro Estrada. First offering misses the mark. Ball one, no strike. Foul ball. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Grabs it on the run. And that'll do it. Giants are down one, two, three. They trail it here, four to two. Kicks and fires. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly with the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does, and you're tied up. That gets down for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now bad. And the batter now, Lars Newtbar. Swing and a pop-up. Listella settles under it. And he makes the catch. Two down. The catcher, number four, Yadier Molina. And stepping up to the dish is Yadier Molina. Next pitch downstairs, and that is ball one. And a breaking ball catches the corner at the knees. Next offering is down low. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. At the belt and fires. Lays out. He's got it. Well, he was ready to make a move. I don't know if his eyes were open when he made that catch, but it is a highlight play. Great job of ending the inning. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Brian Helsley, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Now the number two hitter, Austin Slater. Leading up for the Giants, the center fielder, Austin. The pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. He's been great in this one. Eye-hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. Nope. Next pitch misses, and it's one and two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now.
But why the kick the pitch? Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And one out now. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Peterson stands in now and watches strike one. Now the 01. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. Going to now. Fall off foul. The 0 2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 0-2. And a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Out there to center. Carlson in position. Puts it away for the out. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. And that one got a piece of him. Oh, he's only an out away from getting through the inning, but he just lost control for a brief moment there. It's not the end of the world, but don't let one mistake turn into another. Get your focus back right here. Davis in the box with two gone, and it takes a look at a called strike. Right-handed reliever. That pitch in for a strike. That's strike two. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. It is just one strike away. And ball one. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level. Have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Got him! And that's the ball game. Well, there's a lot more work to be done in this series, but it all starts one game at a time. Taking the first of four, that means you're in a position to avoid a sweep. Come out tomorrow, you win two games, you know that you've at least split the series. Those are the mind games you got to play with yourself as a big league ball player to get yourself ready every day. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show.